Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee. We continue the Forest of 2020. And today we are talking about how to create path in Photoshop. We are using the pen tools and the relay tools to create the path. And also we change the path into a selection areas. And at the end of this section, I will show you how to create a logo with the path creation tools and how to convert this into a vector graphic by Illustrator as well. From now on, I will record the videos in English and Cantonese version, and the Cantonese version will be started as the following type, this type here. Okay, let me open a file to show you how to use the pen tools to create a path, an open path, or a code path. So in the Photoshop, I go to the file menu and open, and then I select a JPEG called simplepath.jpg and this file you can download from the internet. I open it with a layer called background layer. So I double click this background layer and change the name of this layer into let's say basic. And then also I create a new layer above it. I go to this create new layer button to create a new layer over it. And then I double click it again and then I change the name to let's say a drawing path. This is a transparency layer so that you can see through it to the basic layer. I also make this basic layer to a bit transparency, about 50% transparency and 46% of opacity. You can see from the layer, you can change the opacity to 46%. That means the transparency is 54%. Then I lock the layer, go back to the drawing path layer and draw the path. In this example, you have six paths. The circle and the heart is called a cold path. And the light, the yellow light, the green light segments, the blue light segment, and also the curved segment is called open path. So first of all, we use the pen tools here to create the straight line path, the yellow path here. So you select the pen tools and then just click on the beginning point, this is the beginning of the path, just one kick, and go to the end point, another kick. You have created a light segment. If you finish to create the light segment, you better go to another tool called path selection tools. Kick on the path selection tools and kick anywhere outside the path to deselect it. You have successfully created a single light segment path. And I continue to create another path. The other path is the light segments path with many anchor points here, the green light segments. So I select the pen tools again, click on the beginning point, the next anchor point, and the next anchor points as well. Just one click. You have done it. So one click here, one click here, one click here, one click here, and one click here. After you have finished and you want to create another new path, you go back to the path selection tools and click anywhere to deselect the path. This is how you create a strict line segment or some of the line segment. In the green path, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven line segment. In the yellow path, you have only one line segment. It's a strict line segment. I go back to the pen tools again and create the blue line segment here. Just one click here and one click here. The blue line segment is created. Once again, I go back to the path selection tools and click outside it. You have created three paths. One is multiple line segment and two of them is only one line segment. And for the curve, the back curve path, if you want to create a curve, not just a line segment, the method is a bit different. When you click on the starting point, the starting anchor point, you have to click and check the direction of the curve. Oh, and also in the turning point, this is the turning point where the path is turning. So in the turning point, you click and drag out the direction as well. This is the path you create. I think it's a bit, little bit out of the back path, but it doesn't matter because we have another method to 
adjust this direction and this anchor point as well. So I will show you later. Click and drag until you can see the path here. This is what you want the path. And this dark point here is just the direction of the anchor point. Go to this point, click and drag. And this point, click and drag. And this one, click and drag. This one, click and drag. Okay, and also the ending point, you just one click here because this one is the end point. You can also click and drag out the direction. After you finish this, go back to the path selection tools and one click outside. But you can see that my path is not exactly what I want. So what can I do now? I go back to the basic layer. I make the transparency a little bit stronger. So the opacity, I make it to 17% and the transparency is 83%. Go back to the selection path layer. If I want to change the curve of this path, I go to a tool called Direct Selection Tools. Click on the Direct Selection Tools and click on the path. I can handle this the anchor point of the path. So if I click on this anchor point of the path, I can see the direction. And also in here, I can see the direction as well. And this one is the direction as well. So I change the direction a bit or the anchor point a bit. I can change the path until I see it's fixed. And the point here, I have made a mistake because this point is only one direction. I have to make this point into two directions. And how can I do that? I go to the pen tools, hold down the mouse button and click on the converse point tools because I want to convert this anchor point into a curved point. Click on this point and drag out the direction. I make it two direction point. And also this point here, click and drag and to make out is this two direction here. So I go back to the direct selection tools and click on the pawn. I want to change the direction and the anchor pawn. Make the direction in here. So this one, the direction a little bit longer. This one is one of the pawn I don't want it. So I select the pen tools and select the delete anchor pawn tools to delete this pawn. Go back to the direct selection pawns and select this point. So I can change the direction. And also this point is uh, one additional point. I don't want it. So I go to the delete anchor point and delete it. Okay, after I have finished this, I go back to the path selection tools and click outside. So I have created a curved path like this. For the circle path, I use the pen tools and I know that for, for the circle is a cold path. I have to do is from the beginnings, this is zero degree. I click on this and drag it out vertically. And the second one, click on this and drag it out horizontally. The third one, click and drag vertically. And the fourth one, click and drag horizontally. And finally, this is the end point. You can see at the row right hand side of the pen tool is a circle. This means it's a closed path. So click on this and drag it out. You have created a circle. If you think that this point is a little bit off, you go back to the direct selection tools and select this point. And you can change the direction as well. Make it a circle. It's not perfectly, but you can do it by changing the direction and the anchor point as well to make it more fixed to your path. After you have finished this, just click outside the path to deselect it. And also for the close path of the heart, I show you another way to draw this heart. You go to the pen tools, just one click as one of the anchor point here, and one click here, one click here, and also one click here. Finally, the close path is created. After you have created the close path, this is not a hard shape. You want this pawn to be a curved pawn, not a sharp pawn. This one is a sharp pawn, right? This one is a sharp pawn, but not these two on the top. It should be a curved pawn. So how can we do this? We go to the converse pawn tools and then drag it out in this direction. Okay, and also here in this direction. So it makes it into a heart. We have to move this one a little bit far here. So we go back to the direct selection tools, click on it and make this one here. And also click on it and mix this one here. 
once again we change the direction and the magnitude of the direction so click on this one and change the magnitude of the direction and also the magnitude of the direction okay. and also in here we change the magnitude and also the magnitude and also we can change the point a little bit upper and make the magnitude larger and also I change this point a little bit up so we have created a hard shape from this path too and one click outside to deselect the path and all this path is not a selection area all this path is just a path you have created when you go to the path layer you can see all your path is written in this layer so if you double click on this you can change the name of the path layer i call it all path and click ok if you want to change all this path into a selection area you can right click the all path layer and make it to a selection when you click ok this one should be a selection all the path should be a selection but of course if you want to make the heart to be a selection you have to separate these two paths so it's, you can make the path to be a selection and how can we do this i just right click and delete the path layer so i delete all the path i go back to the layer and i try to draw only one close path is the heart okay i do it again I go to the pen tools one click here one click here this time I know the one click should be here and one click here one click here and close the path and then I use the converse pawn tool to convert this pawn into a curve and also convert this pawn into a curve use the direct selection tools to select this pawn to change the magnitudes of the direction to see it's fixed okay this is the heart and click outside I have created a path with the heart but I cannot fill a color. For example, I want to fill a color to this. I use the paint bucket tools to fill color. If I click on this, the color will be filled all the way outside the path. So I have to do this. I want to fill the colors is only inside the path. So I go to the direct selection tools and click outside the path. Go to the path layer, the path layer here. I double click it, make it to a working path. I call it hard and right click this layer to make it a selection click OK to make it a selection this is how you create a path and make the path into a selection go to the layer and then use the paint bucket tools to fill the color of the selection area with the foreground color because this is a foreground color with the normal fill so I change the foreground color let's say to uh, yellow and click in here to fill the selection areas and make it a yellow heart after that i go back to the path layer and click outside the path to make it deselect the path and then ctrl d to deselect the area as well so in the layer i have created a yellow heart and this yellow heart is created by the path okay you can practice on this path creation in later I will show you how to use the path selection to create a logo like this I open the logo for you this is the logo I want to create so uh, just stop this videos and practice on how to create a path and later I will show you how to create this logo with the path selection tools and after we have created this logo we can save this logo as a jpeg and in illustrator i will show you how to change this logo into a vector graphics okay let's us using the pen tools and the relate tools to create a logo so i open a file called birth path original.jpg this file you can download from the internet okay and i change the background layer into another name I call it basics I make a new layers above it and I call this layer join 01 and I lower the opacity of the basic layer 
then I lock the layer. I go back to the drawing layer. I try to draw the shape. Okay, I maximize the wheels by control precise to maximize the wheels and I draw the path of this pick here. So I using the pen tools. In here, I just one kick here to here and one point as this way. I drag it out because it's a curving point and I kick one point here and also one point here. So I have a path like this. I go to the path layer. So I double kick it. I call it path one or any name you want. Right click this path one and make it a selection with the zero pixel further. Click OK. Go back to the layer, join one layer, and I feel a color similar to this color. So I'm using the eyedropper tools here to get the color from here. So I get this color using the paint bucket tools, feel the color of this area. If I now turn off the basic layer, I can see that I have joined a shape like this with the same color as the basic layer. So I turn it on again, go back to the join layer, press Ctrl D to deselect. And now I create one more layer. I click this button to create one more layers above it. I change the name to join two. Now using the pen tools again to draw this shape here. One click in here, one click in here. And then I have to run, I have to click one point in the turning one here, but I forget. So I just click the point here and then finish with the close path. I know that there is some minus mistake here because I have to add one more angle point in here to make the shape more curved in this way. So I go to the tools, add angle point tools, and click on the path here to add one more angle point. Then I go to the direct selection tools and move this point a bit further right here and this point a bit up here. So this is another shape. I create this shape. I go to the path layer and change the path name to path 2. Right click the path 2, make selection, further radius 0 pixel, click OK. Go back to the layer panel and using the eyedropper tools to get the color from the background, from the basic layer. Then I use the paint bucket tools to fill the color here. Control D to be selected. So I have finished to make some of the shape of this logo. You continue to create one more layer, rename the layer, and draw another shape. I draw one more shape here. And this shape here. So I click on the pen tools again. Click one point here and one point here. Just make it a straight line. One point here and here and one point here and close the path. So it's a straight line point. I go to the um, tools called Converse Point Tools. I click on the path. I can convert this point into a curve point. So I drag it out to convert this into a curve point. And also the direction as well. And this point I drag it out to convert this into a curve point. This point I drag it out to convert this into a curve point. Direction like this and the direction like this. And this one also drag it out to convert this into a curve point. Of course, the direction have to be in the correct side. And then I need one more pawn in here. This one, this pawn, I drag it out. Okay, I go back to the direct selection tools. And then move this pawn until I see it's fixed. This one is good, right? Until I see it's fixed and the shape is created. I go to the path layer, double click it, and call it path 
free, then I right click the path to make it a selection area. Go back to the layers using the eye dropper tools to get the color from here. Using the paint bucket tools to fill the color and etc. Of course, I have to draw a circle of the eyes. So I make this layer. I press Ctrl D first and then I make this layer opacity to lower so that I can see the eyes. And the eye is just a circle. So I go to the elliptical Mackie tools and hold down the shift key to draw a circle like that. This is the eye, right? But you know that you have to create one new layer to make this shape. So I create one new layer. I call this layer eyes, outer. This is the outer circle of the eyes. I fill the color with the right color because this is the right color. So I use the paint bucket tools to fill the color. Okay. And then also I make the opacity a little bit lower. And now I make one more new layer. I call this layer eyes inner. Okay, I want to make a selection of this circle, but the smaller circle. So I go to the select and use modify. And I want to contract the circle. So I contract the circle by let's say three pixel and click OK. Okay, the circle is contract to three pixel and I fill the color with the back color. So I fill the color with the back color using the paint bucket tools to fill it. To now I press Ctrl D to deselect. I turn this layer opacity up to 100%. I also turn on the drawing layer opacity to 100%. You can see I have successfully created the shape of a bird, some of it. Okay, I will continue to do all the shape. You can try it yourself. And after that, I will show you how to convert this shape into a vector graphic. Good luck. Okay, after some hard work, I have created the layers and the layers include all the shape. So I will show you how many layer I have created and how many path I have created here. You can see from the layer I have created the bank layers without anything. This is the basic layer. I have turned it off so that you cannot see the basic layer at the moment. Now I am in the bank layer. After the bank layers, I have created a white background. So I click on to turn it on. So this is the right background layer. I call it a back layer and also the drawing zero zero layer is the circle, is the yellow circle. And then after that, the drawing zero zero B layer is the layer with the right bar here. And then the zero zero C A is, is the layers of the leg of the bird. Drawing layer. This one is the drawing zero zero D is this layer here. And gradually I turn on all the layer so you can uh, see the vertex shape. When I turn on all the layer except the original layer, except this one, so that you can see I have created all the shape which have filled with the color of the original logo. In the path, you can see the path one is this path here. I turn all the layer off first. Path one is the path here, is the path two, path three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I change the pop one to a selection area. Then I fill the color of the original logo. I press Ctrl D to turn off the select area. And now I turn every layer on except the original layer. Uh, I save this file in Photoshop format so that I can edit this later on. And also I save this file as a JPEG so that I can put the JPEG file into Illustrator, change this JPEG file to a vector graphic. I press on files 
and then save this file with the name burst pub original stock psd and then i press save for webs i select a jpex and then i mix the quality to 100 then i click on save and the photoshop will ask me to give a name to the jpeg files i call this jpeg files first logo in some of my folder exercise file folder and then click save after a while the file has been saved i close this photoshop file without saving anything and i open up the illustrator i'm using illustrator cs6 here okay in the illustrator i also set the workspace to thomas workspace this is my workspace as before so i go to the file and then open or you just using your window explorer to select the files and drag into the illustrator application okay this is the file you you can see in the illustrator i want to make the jpeg file into a vector graphic so i select the image and i using the image trace in this logo i have the color one two three four five about six colors so i go to the image trace and select six color image trace click on the six color image trace and after a while the image have been traced with different color click on the expand to expand this image into path so after you have expanded this image into path you can see from the layer panel the image have been changed into the path i right click on all the path and undo it so i click outside i click the right background here i select the right background here and then delete okay i have delete the right background so this is one of the objects the path here this is another object the path here this is another object there's a lot of paths so you can move this object to add, uh, outside you can see this is an object i just undo it so now this is a vector graphic you can maximize it plus control per side to maximize it. you can see that the object is a path object this is a vector graphic so that i can save the vector graphic so i'm using save as a copy and then I save this as a vector graphic. I think the SVG is a vector graphic. I call it first local dot SVG and also save as the exercise file folder and click save. You can also, you can also save the file, save for web and then mix this file as a PNG file. Because PNG file is the vector file. So I select the PNG files and then save. I also save to my exercise files folder. Now I can close the illustrators without saving anything. If you open the PNG file, so it's a vector graphic. So you can open it with illustrators or you can open it with another software as well. This is how you create the vector graphic for my logos using Photoshop pen tools and its relays tools and then translate it into a vector graphic by illustrator image trace. So good luck. 早晨，歡迎大家翻翻嚟我 Learn with Tommy 嘅 Photoshop 二零二零。今日我哋會教大家喺 Photoshop 裏邊點樣要 create path， 同埋我哋會用個 pen tools 同埋其他有關嘅工具啦，去製造一個 path 啦，同埋將佢變成一個 selection area。喺呢個節嘅最後，我將會教大家點樣利用 Path 啦，去 create 一個 logo， 然之後我將呢個 logo 啦變成一個 vector graphic 喺 Illustrator 裏面去做嘅。由而家開始，我個 video 將會有英文版啦，同埋廣東話版。如果大家想聽英文版嘅話咧，大家就可以去到呢個 video 嘅最開頭嘅時候啦，就會係英文版㗎。好，我哋而家就睇睇點樣利用個。Pen tools 去畫一啲嘅 path， 咁喺呢一度我開咗個檔案，嗰、那個檔案咧就係一個叫做 Simple Path d o c JPEG 嘅檔案。呢啲檔案你喺 Internet 上嗰啲都好容易 download 咗落嚟嘅。我開咗佢先，開咗個檔案之後啦，我將呢個 background layer 啦 double click 啦，然之後我將個 background layer 啦去改做一個 layer 嘅 name 叫做 basics 咯。跟住我喺下低撳呢一個掣 create new layer。佢多一個 layer 喺上高，呢上邊呢個 layer 啦
我叫佢做 join layer 咯，或者係叫做 join 咯，一張透明嘅膠片喺上面嘅。咁喺下低呢個 layer 啦，我就將佢嗰個透明度或者叫 opacity 不透明度啦，係較低佢。我將個不透明度教到去大概係廿九個 percent 啦，所以你見到下低啦係變咗係有少少嘅透明嘅。除此之外啦。我就將呢個 layer 鎖咗佢 ，basic layer 鎖咗佢，熄咗佢隻眼，返返上去啊，冇熄隻眼，返返上去個 join layer 啦，我就開始畫呢個 path。咁首先啦，我哋就用個 pen tool 去畫 path 嘅。咁畫 path 嘅時候啦，如果嗰條 path 係一條直線，例如呢條黃色嘅 path 啦，我哋只係喺個開始點撳一下啦，然之後喺個終點撳一下啊，我哋就會畫到一條 path 㗎啦。咁喺呢度 part 我哋畫完之後啦，記住啦，係撳返一個 tools 啦，揀嗰個叫做 path selection tools。揀咗之後喺呢個 path 出面嘅地方 click 一下，代表咗你畫完呢條 path 㗎。而家我哋試下畫另外一條 path， 就係呢條綠色嘅 path。咁呢條綠色嘅 path 啦，係有好多個 line segment 嘅，好多節嘅直線。所以我哋用返個 pen tools 喺度開始點 click 一下啦。第二點 click 一下啦，第三點、第四點逢係轉列點，你就可以撳一下，佢就會畫咗個 line segment 去到尾。去到尾之後咧，你就可以揀翻個 path selection tool 喺出邊撳一下，咁呢個 path 咧係攰咗出嚟噶。跟住條藍色嘅 path 都係一條直線嘅 path 一樣，揀翻個 pen tools 開始點撳一下，結尾點撳一下，揀翻個。Path selection tools 喺外面 click 一下，代表你畫好咗條 path 噶。而家我哋三條 path 都畫好咗。第四條 path 就係呢條黑色嘅 curve。呢條 curve 係比較特別，因為佢唔係一啲直線嘅 segment， 係一啲弧線嘅 segment。我哋畫嘅時候要小心，開始嘅時候啦，我哋就唔係撳一下隻 mouse， 我哋係撳實隻 mouse 拉個 direction 出嚟，個方向線出嚟。跟住第二點一樣啦，喺個轉列點。呢一點係好明顯一個轉折點啦，撳實隻 mouse 拉個方向線出嚟。第三點，撳實隻 mouse 拉個方向線出嚟，直至到你見到呢一條 path 啦，係大概你想要嘅 path。第四點，撳實隻 mouse 拉個方向線出嚟。第五點，撳實隻 mouse 拉個方向線出嚟。第六點，撳實隻 mouse 拉個方向線。第七點，假設我歪咗唔緊要嘅，我歪咗一間，我嚟睇下點樣改變翻呢個方向。咁到第八點啦，撳實隻 mouse 拉個方向線出嚟。你見到因為第七點啦，個方向歪咗，唔緊要，我哋畫完條 path 先，撳翻個 path selection tools， 擊翻出邊畫完個 path。而家我想改變呢個 path 呢一點嘅方向同埋嗰個嘅弧度，咁我點樣做咧？嗱，我揀翻一個叫做 direct selection tools 啦，揀翻佢先，擊一擊條 path， 你就會見到啦，所有個 point 都走曬出嚟。我撳一撳呢個 point， 我想改變嘅 point。然之後咧，我就將呢個 direction 呢個原點係個 direction 啦，係改變咗方向，係直至到啦，我個方向係適合我想畫嗰條 path 位置噶。每一點嘅方向同埋嗰個方向嘅重要性，你可以拉長縮短去改變嘅，直至到你覺得 OK 為止啦。搞掂咗之後，記住啦，就喺出邊呢個地方啦，撳一下，我而家就畫咗一條 curve 嘅 path 啦。嗱，跟住落嚟就個圓圈，圓圈咧係一個 close path 嚟嘅，因為佢 close 咗個 area， 所以我亦都知道個圓圈咧有四點嘅 control point， 或者我叫 angle point， 我喺呢一點啦，係撳住佢拖出嚟啦，一個垂直嘅線。第二點撳住佢拖出嚟，一個水平嘅線。第三點撳住佢拖出嚟，記住向下嘅方向唔係向上啊，咁係向下嘅方向。直至到嗰條弧線啦，係我想要嘅弧線為止噶，爭少少唔緊要嘅，我慢慢再改呢一、这個亦都係一樣。但係喺呢度，如果我錯誤地多咗個 angle point 喺中間，亦都歪咗，唔緊要嘅，依家我先至再改，翻翻嚟呢一度，喺個起點嗰度，我就撳住只 mouse 拖翻出嚟。OK， 呢個起點咁你見到咧，呢、这個 path 咧就唔係真係一個圓圈嚟嘅，點樣去改呢？首先啦。我就揀翻個 tools 就叫做 delete angle point tools， 
，咁喺個 delete angle point tools 嗰度啦，我哋揾翻邊個 angle point 我想 delete， 例如呢個我想 delete， 我就 click 一下 delete 咗個 angle point 噶。咁呢、這個呢、這個 point 本身都有啲問題，咁我就 delete 埋佢 ，delete 埋佢。咁你見到啦，就而家就少咗個 angle point 噶。而家啦，我喺呢個刻啦，我就加多個 angle point 喺呢一個位置噶。OK， 加翻個 angle point 喺呢個位置，當然個方向要正確啦。而家要改變呢個 angle point 嘅位置，揀翻嘅就係個 direct selection tools。click click 呢個 point， 我就可以搬佢個位置出嚟。direction 我可以改，直至到佢啱位置。呢、這個 direction 我可以改，呢、這個 direction 可以縮翻短啲。咁呢個 direction 咧，呢、這個 direction 可以縮短少少，呢、這個 direction 可以縮短少少。呢、这個亦都可以縮短少少，呢、这個應該長翻少少。如此類推，改到你滿意為止，咁就會喺出面呢個地方 click 一下，代表你已經畫完呢個 curve。跟住呢個心形嘅 curve 啦，我教大家用另外一個方法去畫。我亦都係揀翻個 pen tools。今次我畫啦，就喺呢度 click 一下，喺呢一度 click 一下，喺呢一度 click 一下。咁你見到全部都係直線㗎，喺呢一度 click 一下，喺呢一度 click 一下。嗱，呢個並唔係一個心形，係咪？只不過係一個、啊、好似個箭嘴嘅形狀嘅啫。嗱，跟住落嚟，我將呢啲 point 啦，係將佢轉咗一個弧線嘅 point， 因為呢一點啦，唔應該係一個直線嘅 point， 所以我就用一個叫做 converse point tools， 我就指住呢一點啦 ，click 一下啦，撳實佢拉出嚟，咁呢個 point 咧就變成一個圓弧嘅 point， 呢個都係啦，直至到我覺得嗰、那個。心形係我要嘅方向線為止。當我滿意啦，就喺出面 click 一下，代表我滿意呢、這個 path 啦，就畫好咗出嚟。嗱，呢個 path 啦，我就畫咗個心啦、條線啦、圓圈啦，同埋上高呢三個嘅 path。佢擺咗喺邊咧，就會擺咗喺 path 呢個 layer 嘅其中一個 layer。如果我哋將呢個 layer 改名，你 double click 啦，可以將佢改名，我叫佢做 all path 咯。你亦都可以 right click 佢啦，然之後揀 mix selection。O、okay, K， 你見到呢扎 part 啦，轉變成一個 selection， 因為呢個係個 close part， 呢個 close part 佢可以做到。呢、這、一個咧，佢唔係 close， 所以自動幫我 close。呢、這、一個唔係 close， 所以自動幫我 close。直線就唔得啦，呢兩條直線就變咗冇用啦。O、okay, K， 但係咁樣做法啦，唔係我想要嘅嘢，因為 close part 只係得個心同埋個圓圈嘅啫。咁我可以點樣做呢？做法就係我將呢個 part layer delete 咗佢先 ，delete 咗個 part 呢個 layer， 咁 control D 啦，釋放咗個範圍出嚟。嗱，我要畫個 cold path， 例如個心啦，我要重新再畫，淨係個心呢個 path 嘅啫。咁今次啦，我哋有經驗啦，我哋用個 pen tools 啦，喺度 click 一下啦 ，click 一下啦 ，click 一下啦，同埋 click 一下啦，跟住翻翻個起點 click 一下，咁就畫咗個尖嘴嘅尖嘴，然之後用個 converse point tool 啦，就將呢個 point 啦係 converse 同埋一個圓弧啦。將呢個 point 啦，亦都係 converse 成為一個圓弧啦。畫好咗個心喺出面 click 下，就代表咗我畫好一個 close part， 淨係一個 close part 嘅啫。走嚟個 part 呢個 layer 啦，我 double click 佢咯，改名我叫佢做 hard 咯。然之後我 right click 佢，揀翻 make selection tools， 跟住撳 OK。咁而家呢個 part 咧就變成一個 selection area。而家我就可以啦，係用個。Pink bucket tools 去賭顏色，我揀嘅顏色啊係一個綠色嘅顏色。Pink bucket tools by default 係賭呢一個 f o r g r o u n d color， 即係呢個 f o r g r o u n d color 嘅。我而家賭落去啦，個心咧就變咗綠色噶。咁所以你睇啊，係非常之簡單。我哋可以將我哋嘅心裏面嘅血啦，由紅色啦變做綠色噶，只係一個 click 就改變咗啦。跟住我就撳 Control D 啦，釋放咗個範圍。我畫嗰個 feel 啦，只係 feel 咗喺。join layer 上高噶，咁大家咧就不妨啦，可以用個 pen tools 啦，同埋有同 pen tools 有關嘅一個 direct selection tools 啦 ，add anchor point to delete anchor point to 同埋 converse point to 啦，去練習一下點樣去畫 path 啦。啊，練習完之後啦，將會教大家利用 path 啦畫一個 logo， 嗰個 logo 啦就會係呢個 logo 啦。我開翻個 logo file 俾大家睇，就係、是、呢個 logo。大家記住 stop 咗個 video 練習一下，跟住落嚟啦，我就會教大家畫呢一個 logo。畫完呢個 logo 啦，我就會將呢個 logo 啦係抌過去 Illustrator 嗰度，然之後教大家點樣將
呢個 logo 啦變成一個 vector graphic 啊。好啦，跟住落嚟咧，我哋就試下利用呢個 pen tools 啦，同埋其他有關嘅工具啦，去畫一個 logo。咁、那、嗰個 logo 咧，我就開咗一個 file 嘅。我喺 file 咁 open 啦，我就開呢個 logo。呢個 logo 呢，就叫做 Bird Path Original JPG， 係一個 JPEG 嘅檔案嚟嘅。咁我開咗呢個 logo。咁呢啲 logo 呢，其實你喺個 internet 上高呢，亦都可以 download 落嚟嘅。好多呢啲咁樣唔同嘅 logo， 咁你可以試下 download。我將呢個 layer 啦，係 double click 啦，係改咗名呢個 layer 啦，叫做 basic layer。然之後我喺上高加多一個 layer 咁。我叫呢個 layer 叫做 drawing 零零啦，撳 enter 啦，改咗名啦。咁呢個係一個透明嘅 layer 嚟嘅。咁我將下低呢個 layer 啦，將佢個 opacity 係較低啲啦，等佢就有少少透明。咁我容易喺上高去畫嘢嘅。咁我校到去六十九個 percent 個 opacity 啦。落，然後返返上上面個 layer 啦，上面 layer drawing layer 嗰度啦，我就開始畫 path 啦。我而家呢就放大。個嘴嗰部分啦，我就喺度畫個 path 啦。咁畫個 path 嘅方法啦，當然係用返個 pen tools 啦。揀個 pen tools 之後喺呢度啦，起點嘅時候 click 一下啦，喺個第二點嘅時候 click 一下啦。嗱呢度有少少弧度嘅，所以我喺呢度呢就加多個點，但呢個點係一個弧線嘅點，所以我 click and drag 啦，嗰個弧線出嚟，跟住喺呢度 click 一下啦，返返個起點嗰度啦。然之後 click 一下，咁我就 create 咗一條 path 㗎。咁但係呢一條係一條 path 嘅啫，就唔係一個 selection area。去返 path 呢個 panel 嗰度 ，double click 呢個 working path 啦，改名叫做 path one 㗎。跟住我就 right click 佢，然之後將佢變成一個 selection m a k e selection。揀個 further radius 係零個 pixel 啦，撳 OK。揀咗 OK 之後，而家就變成一個 select area。返返去個 layer 呢一度。我而家呢，就用一個工具啦，嗰、那個工具就叫做 Eye Dropper Tool。呢、这個工具我嚟吸取一啲墨，咁呢啲墨就喺呢一個嘴原本呢個 basic background 嗰度吸嘅。咁我吸咗之後啦，你見到啲墨啦係吸咗上去，然之後我用個 p i n k Bucket Tools 啦，呢個係倒墨水嘅工具嚟嘅。我係撳 p i n k Bucket Tool 啦，就喺呢一度啦，係倒落去。你見到啊，我就畫咗一個嘅 shape， 呢、这個 shape 啦就係個嘴嘅上半部分嘅 shape。而家我撳 Ctrl P 啦，係釋放咗個範圍。假設而家我熄咗下底嘅 layer 啦，你見到我就畫咗一個咁嘅 shape， 畫咗出嚟啦。開翻個 layer 先，我繼續畫第二個 shape。我亦都係加多一個透明嘅 layer 喺上面，將佢改名。你可以唔改名嘅，咁當然你可可以改翻一個適當嘅名啦，俾佢嘅。我叫 Drawing 零一啦。然之後我試下畫另外一條 part， 所以用翻個 Pen Tools 啦，喺呢一度啦 ，click 一下啦。喺呢一度 click 一下，因為直線啦。嗱呢一度應該有條弧線，所以中間應該有個轉捩點嘅。但我唔記得咗，唔緊要，我喺度 click 一下啦。然之後喺度 click 一下，咁你見到只係一個三角形嘅，就冇咗呢個弧線呢部分嘅。我哋可以點樣做呢？我想喺度加翻一個 anchor point， 所以我就利用一個叫做 add anchor point tools 喺呢個位置啦，係 click 落去加翻一個 anchor point。跟住落嚟，我用 Direct Selection Tools 將呢個 Anchor Point 啦，係 Select and l i v e 翻出少少 ，Select 咗之後，同時係 l i v e 翻出少少，就形成咗呢一條弧線。當我形成咗呢一個 Path 之後，我就可以去 Path 呢個 Layer Double Click 嘅 Work Path 改名叫做 Path Two 或者其他嘅名稱，撳 OK， 撳咗 OK 之後，而家係一個 Path Right Click 呢個 Path Two Make Selection 變成一個 Selection。返返去個 layer join one 呢個 layer 嗰度，然之後用 eye d r o p p e r tools 啦，去吸取呢度啲墨，繼而我哋可以用 p i n k bucket tools 啦，去倒啲墨落去，就形成咗呢一個 shape。c o n t r o l D 離開咗佢，咁呢係個嘴嗰部分。我畫埋個面嗰部分啦，同埋隻眼啦，跟住落嚟啦，就俾大家自己去嘗試自己畫啦。咁、那個面呢一部分啦，就呢一條曲線啦。當然我都加多個 layer 先，咁我將呢個 layer 啦叫做 join 零二，咩名其實任你嘅，我叫 join 零二嘅啫。然之後我就用 path tools 係畫呢個 path。當然啦，我揀翻個 pen tools 啦，就 click 落呢個位啦，一下啦，呢度咧就 click 住只 mouse 啦，係拉出嚟啦，呢度就 click 一下啦，跟住呢一度咧我就 click 住只 mouse 拉出嚟啦。
，我用個 pen to o l 寫呢個位啦，我就喺呢一度 click 一下啦 ，click 住個 mouse 拉出嚟啦，跟住呢度 click 一下啦，呢度都係啦 ，click 住個 mouse 拉出嚟啦，呢度 click 一下啦 ，click 住個 mouse drag 出嚟啦，呢度都係啦。嗱，開頭嘅時候呢。如果呢啲 point 啦，唔係你想象中咁嘅位置啦，好似呢一度咧，你見到係爭好遠嘅嚇，即係畫出嚟，同埋呢條 path 啦係爭好遠嘅。唔緊要，我用翻個 direct selection p o i n t 嘅工具啦，我就可以 select 呢啲 point， 然之後我就將呢啲 point 啦個 direction 係改變，令到嗰條 path 啦係我想要嘅 path 位置啦。一個 direction 可唔可以改變佢啦？ manual 可以改變佢啦，令到呢條 path 係我想要嘅 path 㗎。如果呢啲 point 唔係你想要嘅 point 啦，你亦都可以用翻個 converse point tools 啦，將呢啲 points 啦係轉翻成弧線嘅 point 㗎。如果係直線嘅 point 唔啱嘅話，你咪轉翻去做弧線嘅 point 咯。喺喺弧線嘅 point 裏邊轉咗之後，翻翻去個 direct selection tools 啦，係 click 翻呢啲點啦，將呢啲嘅方向同埋個 manual 係改變。啊，從而咧係改變咗呢啲位㗎。咁呢一個都應該係一個 point 啦。我用翻個 direct selection point， 我用翻個 converse point tools 啦，係將呢啲 point 係 convert 咗嚟㗎。跟住用翻個 direct selection point 啦，係改變呢啲 point 嘅位置嘅，直至到你覺得滿意為止嘅。啊，呢度應該多咗個 point 啊，多咗個 point 啦，我就會用翻個 delete anchor point， 然之後 delete 咗佢。好啦，咁咁啊，直至到啦呢條線啦，係你想要嘅線就 O K 啦。咁當我做咗呢個 path 之後啦，我可以翻個 path 呢個 layer 啦 ，double click 改名叫做 path three 啦。然之後啦，就係、是、用個 I drop a tools 吸呢度啲墨，倒翻落去，用翻個 pink bucket tools 倒翻啲墨落去。嗱，呢度你見到我倒，全部都倒曬，原因係乜嘢啦？我撳 Control Reset Undo 咗佢啦。原因就係我忘記咗將呢個 path 啦。係轉做一個 selection area， 記得呢樣嘢啦。咁啊，轉咗做 selection area， 你先至可以倒墨落呢一個位置度嘅。呢、这個位置，咁你見到呢一個 path 啦，係有少少問題啊，出咗界嘅。所以我而家翻翻個 path 嗰度啦 ，Control D 啦，去釋放咗佢先。然之後我翻翻個 path 嗰度啦，我用翻個 direct selection tools 啦，揀翻條 path 啦，改改變翻呢個 path 嘅。位置咁呢個 point 我發覺咧就係有問題啦，咁所以我就會用翻個 converse point tools 啦，將呢個 point 咧係轉翻弧線嘅 point 先，因為頭先唔係弧線嘅 point， 所以就冇個弧度喺度。而家我再做多一次 right click make selection， 咁已經見到個 selection 就靚好多啦。跟住翻翻個 layer 嗰度啦，用個 I drop a tools 吸呢度啲墨，用個 pink bucket tools 倒啲墨落去啦。嗱，跟住我畫返隻眼先，咁我撳 Control D 釋放咗個範圍，我將呢個 layer 個 opacity 教返低啲先，等我可以睇到後面隻眼。嗱，隻眼呢其實係兩個圓圈，一個大啲嘅圓圈同一個細啲嘅圓圈，所以我 create 多個 layer 啦，我叫呢個 layer 啦叫做 eyes outer 啦，我畫個大圓圈，我用個 elliptical m a g i t o o l s 之前都講過啦，咁我就撳著個 shift 掣啦，我就可以畫個圓圈喺度嘅。誒擺翻正佢，跟住啦，我就用翻個白色嘅 background 啦，用個 pink bucket tools 啦，係倒落呢個 layer 嗰度，咁所以你見到一個白色嘅圈。Control D 釋放咗佢，然之後我就將呢個 layer 啦，個 opacity 啦，亦都係較低佢啦，等我可以睇到後面黑色嘅圈。翻翻嚟呢個圓圈嗰度啊，或者你可以用翻下低個 layer。而家我 create 多個 layer 啦，我個 layer 啦，我叫做 eyes inner 啦。嗱，我用下低呢個 layer eyes outer 呢個 layer 啦，用支神仙棒啦 ，click 落呢個圓圈嗰度，咁你見到咧就會 select 咗個圓圈。跟住我想畫細啲嘅圓圈，所以我就就用呢個圓圈，用個 select command， 跟住揀 modify 裏邊嘅 contract， 咁 contract 三個 pixel， 我就會縮細三個 pixel， 啱啱好係個細嘅圓圈。上翻個 eyes inner layer。用黑色嘅墨 ，pink bucket tools 倒落去，我就畫咗個圓圈。Ctrl D 啦，係釋放咗佢。而家喺呢個時候，我將呢個 layer 個 opacity 啦，係校翻去一百 percent 啦。將呢個 layer 個 opacity 校翻去一百 percent 啦。你見到我就所有 layer 都著翻曬。假設而家我熄咗後面 background 嘅 layer 啦
，你見到咧就後面冇曬個圖，個圖本身啦就係咁嘅圖，我就利用呢個圖啦去畫翻一個嘅 path， 畫翻俾佢啦。嗱，跟住落嚟大家咧試一下自己不停咁 c r e a layer 啦，去畫埋其他嘅 path。咁我就停咗個 video， 跟住我畫晒所有 p a r 啦，我先至教大家點樣將呢啲 p a r 啦係變做一個 vector graphic。我哋就利用到 Illustrator 呢個 software， 將一個 image 由一個 JPEG 啦變成一個 vector graphic。咁大家慢慢練習啦。好，經過一番努力之後呢，我終於畫晒所有嘅 layer， 所有嘅圖層。而家呢，我就將下低呢個 basic 即係原本個圖啦。嗰隻眼就熄咗佢，跟住我又將全部嘅 layer 啦，隻眼我都熄咗佢，俾大家睇睇每一個 layer 我究竟畫咗啲乜嘢嘅 shape， 我又用個 pen tool 去畫出嚟嘅。大家而家見到咧，所有嘅 layer 我都熄咗啦，而家我逐個 layer 著翻。首先咧，我就 create 一個 bank layer 啦，就是、完全空白嘅透明圖層，跟住上高就有一個白色嘅墊墊底嘅層，跟住呢。就係、是、join 零零，就係、是、一個圓圈，黃色嘅圓圈。再繼續呢，就係、是、一條白色嘅巴喺個黃色嘅圓圈度畫過咗佢。然之後只雀仔嘅腳嘅 layer 啦，之後就係雀仔個身嘅 layer 啦。再喺上高呢，就係雀仔嘅翼嘅 layer 啦。再喺上高呢，就會係 join 一啦，就係呢個釘釘啦，同埋下面嘅釘釘。跟住上面就係 join three，join three 就係喺啲眼嘅眼眉嗰部分。跟住 eyes outer 白色嘅圓圈，然之後 eyes inner 黑色嘅圓圈。再繼續呢，就係 join 零四，就係白色嘅下巴。跟住繼續呢，就係橙色呢部分個肚。最後呢，就係上面呢一節嘅藍色噶。咁所有嘅 layer 啦，我都係 create 曬出嚟。嗱呢啲 layer create 嘅時候啦。其實係由每一條 path 去 create 嘅。我哋睇翻 path path one 啦，就係講緊呢個 path。我放翻大俾大家睇咯。呢個就係 path one。當然啦，你想睇清楚啲嘅話咧，你就將所有嘅 layer 都熄咗佢，尤其是係 path one 同埋 path two create 嗰啲 layer。咁我將所有 layer 熄曬佢先啦。我撳 Control 零啦，咁大家可以睇到呢、这個就係 path one 個嘴嘅上半節。跟住 part two 啦，就嘴嘅下半節 ；part three 啦，就係個眼眉嗰部分 ；part four 啦，就係啊頸嗰部分啦。跟住 part five、part six、part seven、part eight 同埋 part nine， 最後就係 part ten。part ten 咧就係呢一隻腳嗰部分啦。咁我每一個 part 做咗出嚟之後咧，我就將呢個 part 啦係 right click make selection， 然之後咧變成一個 selection 之後翻翻嚟呢一度啦。我就吸返下面嗰層嘅墨水，即係下面呢一層嘅墨水，然之吸管吸咗佢，然之後用個倒油倒落去，咁就可以㗎啦。呢、这個就係成個 logo 嗰個做法嚟嘅。我而家 control D 離開咗佢，熄咗最下面嗰層啦，然之後著返晒上面嗰啲層次，搞掂咗之後呢，我就會 save 低一個 Photoshop 嘅 format 嘅 file 啦。等第日我可以做 edit 嘅時候啦，我可以再繼續去改呢個嘅圖案。而家我就撳 file 啦，然之後 save 啦，將個 file save 佢啦。因為之前我 save 過㗎，咁所以我可以撳 save as 啦。話俾佢聽，你想 save 喺邊，叫做咩名？咁我咧就叫佢做 Bird Park Original PSD， 將佢 save 低咗佢。等一陣啦，佢就會幫我 save 低喺一個 Photoshop 嘅 format。之後我想將呢個變成一個 JPEG。個做法就係撳 file 啦，就變咗個 save for web。然之後呢度我可以揀 JPEG 或者 PNG 八、PNG 廿四，你當然可以揀 JPEG 嘅。咁我揀 JPEG 啦 ，quality 啦，我就 set 到一百，然之後 save。咁佢問我叫咩名，我叫呢個 JPEG 啦，叫做 Bird Logo d o g p g 之前我 save 過啦，我再 save 多次 ，override 咗舊嗰個檔案嘅啫。跟住呢個 p h o t o s o p 我可以刪咗佢啦，我唔 save 啦，因為之前我 save 咗。而家啦，我就開翻 Illustrator， 我用嘅就係 Illustrator CS6 咯。當我開翻 Illustrator 啦，需要啲時間嘅。開咗之後咧，我就將嗰個 file 啦，即係呢個 Word Local 作 JPG 啦，啊 ，drag 翻落去個 Illustrator 嗰度
，你見到成個檔案就擺咗落嚟，但係呢個仍然係一個嘅 b i t map 嚟嘅。我而家用 select tools 啦，係圈住咗呢一個範圍 select 咗佢，跟住上高你見到有個 image trace 嘅，咁 image trace 啦，佢就會幫你揀顏色啦，畫翻適當嘅 path 出嚟嘅。咁我而家咧就揀 image trace， 而家六隻色夠唔夠咧？我就數下呢度。呢、这、一個 logo 有幾隻色？一隻色，兩隻色，三隻色啦。啊，黑色四隻啦，白色五隻啦。呢一隻色六隻啦，六隻色都應該夠噶啦。咁你可以揀六隻色，或者你覺得唔夠嘅，你可以揀多啲嘅顏色。咁而家我揀綠色色就應該夠噶啦。咁佢咧就會幫我做綠隻色嘅 image trace。trace 咗之後咧，呢、这個係一個 group 嘅 object 嚟嘅。所以如果你 select 佢啦，係一個 group 嘅 object 啦。我要將佢 expand 出嚟啦，佢先變成一啲嘅 path 噶，所以你見到我擺落去啦，佢叫做 convert tracking object into path。我試下先，我 click 落去啦，佢就將嗰個 object 啦變成一啲嘅 path 噶。你會睇翻個 layer 嗰度啦，你就會睇到啦，其實佢有好多好多條 path 噶，每一條 path 啦就係一個位噶。當你撳翻落去啦，每一條 path 就係一個位置噶。咁呢個就係將佢變成一條 path。而家咧我就 select 曬成集 part 啦，因為 group 埋一齊啊，咁我 right click 啦，我就可以啦，係 ungroup 咗佢啦。咁 ungroup 咗佢咧，啲 part 就會散曬。呢、這個後邊個 background 啦，當然你可以 delete 咗佢啦，或者你可以轉個第二個顏色嘅，如果你中意嘅話。咁每一嚿嘢咧都係一個 part 嚟嘅。我 delete 咗後邊個 background 先咯。呢度係一個 part 嚟嘅，你見到呢、這個白呢、這個黃色係一個 part， 咁你可以啦係 move 呢個 part 出嚟。啊！呢、这個黃色咧，亦都係一個 path 嚟嘅。如此類推，佢全部啲 path 啦，係擺埋一齊咁解嘅啫。咁、okay? 呢個已經係一個 vector graphic。我點知咧？當我放大佢啦，無論我放到幾大啦，你見到呢條 curve 都係咁 move 噶，因為係一個 vector graphic 嚟噶。咁如果我要 save 低呢啲 vector 嘅 data 啦，我個做法啦，當然就係撳 file 啦 ，save 低喺 AI 嘅 format 或者其他。係 vector graphic 嘅 format， 咁如果我 save 低呢個 file 喺 AI 嘅 format 啦，咁呢個 format 係 AI 嘅 format 嘅，咁我叫做 verb local dot AI 啦，呢個一定係 vector graphic 嘅 format 噶，咁所以有個 layer 所個 path 啦，佢都會啊俾我跟翻嘅，咁我撳 OK save 翻喺 AI 嘅 format， 你亦都可以 save 去其他 vector graphic 嘅 format 噶，例如你撳 file 啦 ，save as 啦，當你揀其他，例如係啊。嗯 SVG 啦，呢個 SVG 亦都係一個 vector graphic 嘅 format 嚟嘅，咁你 save 喺 SVG 啦。SVG 咧就算你喺 IE 度或者 i n d e x w a l l e r 或者其他嘅包實嗰度開翻啦，佢都係一個 vector 可以開翻佢出嚟嘅。咁我 save 喺 SVG 嘅 format， save 低佢。之前我 save 過，所以 override 咗佢啦。你亦都可以 save 喺其他 save for web 啦，其他譬如 PNG 廿四啦，呢個亦都係。vector 嘅 graphic 嚟嘅，咁我撳 save 啦，去 save 低佢。咁呢個 PNG 之前我都 save 過嘅，我再 save 多一次咁解嘅。嗱，呢個方法就係點樣？我哋係由 Photoshop 裏面啦，用 Pop 啦去畫呢個 logo， 然之後 save as 一個 image 抌過嚟 AI 呢一邊啦，我哋就將佢 image trace 變成一個 vector graphic 咁。咁大家不妨可以試下連續 Photoshop 裏面嘅 Pen Tools 同埋 r e l a t e d Tools。將一個 logo 啦，係 create 出嚟噶。Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutors for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多謝大家收聽我呢個 video。如果你係希望你個 mathematics 同埋你個英文係更加好嘅話咧，你想要一個 private tutor 啦，你可以隨時 contact 我嘅，令到你個 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因為我都有一啲私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅。多謝大家。
Thank you. Bye bye. Muchas gracias.